Hello and welcome to Ukraine. I've spent the past few days here in Kiev and wow, what a beautiful city this is. Just like a lot of Eastern Europe, Ukraine used to be part of the Soviet Union. Today, the quality of life in Ukraine keeps developing, yet the cost of living remains so low. Why does it remain so low? And why is everything so cheap? I don't know. But what I'm gonna show you is just how affordable this place is and how cheap it can be to live here. It's not only that the daily expenses are cheaper in Ukraine, it's also that the country as a whole is slightly underdeveloped compared to other neighbouring countries. To show you how cheap Ukraine really is, I will dive into the prices of the restaurants, accommodation, shopping and transportation. And I've got a pretty good feeling this will make you want to visit Ukraine even more. Okay, let's start with getting around this humongous capital city. It's generally easy to get around in Ukraine. Big cities such as Kiev and Kharkiv have a good metro system. And most cities have a combination of buses, trams, trolleybuses and local trains to get you around. Although Google will be your best friend when trying to figure out how to get from A to B. The price for the metro is around 8 hryvnia, regardless of the destination. So you can pretty much travel the whole city network for less than 30 cents. How crazy is that? And fun fact, Ukraine is actually home to the world's deepest metro system. It takes a whopping five minutes just to get down to the bottom. Can you imagine if you're in a rush for work in the morning and then you have to catch this slow ride down? The trick is catching the metro in Ukraine, don't be late for work. The buses in Ukraine range from a comfortable long distance bus with an AC and reclining seats to Soviet monstrosities that shouldn't even be allowed on the road. It really depends on the location, but for the most part they are very similar price to the metro and have a very diverse network. Depending on how long you're staying in the city and what your budget is, you'll more than likely be shopping at a local supermarket at some point in your travels. As you can see, basic necessities and snacks range from 10 to 50, 60 and even 70 hryvnia. So you can buy a whole day's food here for just a few dollars. So why is it that Ukrainians love their sparkling water? So the water supply isn't the best in Kiev. I've been buying my bottles of water for the past few days in the supermarkets. However, every time I've brought one, it's always been a sparkling water, always been a fizzy water. Why is that? Am I picking up the wrong bottles? I've tried, I've tried a massive selection of them now and everyone seems to be sparkling. I just can't seem to get my hands on a still bottle of water. Surely there's something going on which I don't know about. If anyone can let me know, that'd be great. So yeah, I've been living on sparkling water. You can also find a lot of small farmers markets and stalls that sell an abundance of fresh fruit and vegetables which are typically even cheaper than store prices. Well Ashley, how about if I want to eat out for dinner? Well as for eating out, you'll have no trouble with staying well below your budget with that too. I found this incredible secret restaurant in the city centre, which requires a secret passcode to enter. It may be slightly more pricey than your typical Ukrainian restaurant, but wow, it's incredibly unique. As you can see from the menu, you can get a variety of sausages for around 60 hryvnia some basic appetizers for around 150 to 200 hryvnia, some meat options for around 200 hryvnia, and even some side dishes can be as low as 50 hryvnia. But being the typical Brit that I am, I decided to treat myself to a cheeky burger and fries, although I did order another side and dessert. But even then, my total was still a whopping 380 hryvnia. But if you're after more traditional and cheaper Ukrainian food, Puzata Hata is a go-to food chain which offers a ton of tasty options. Okay, that was so stressful. I had to use Google Translate on my phone in the end because it was just impossible. Nobody in this restaurant speaks a word of English. Um, it's kind of a free-for-all where you have to ask for the food. So I've just told them, give me a few Ukrainian dishes, we'll see what happens, and this is what I got. So I think I've got some dumplings, I've got some borscht, which is the traditional Ukrainian soup, I think. I think. Uh, chicken here, 
and whatever these two little nipples are. I'm not really sure. It looks quite nice and it smells quite nice, but we'll see how it goes. Oh my god. I might just move here already. That was unbelievable. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did, but the Bosch. The Bosch. <laughs> it's good. At some point, you'll also want to visit the city's wonderful attractions. The bad news is that a lot of the indoor attractions charge a fee, but the good news is that the fee is pennies. To enter St Andrews, which in my opinion is the coolest cathedral in the whole city, costs only around 70 hryvnia. But you can find a similar price entering all the other popular tourist attractions too. Finally, you're going to need a place to sleep in the city, and depending on your budget and style there are a lot of options to cater for everybody's needs. I managed to secure this small hostel literally in the city centre, with an incredible view for only 160 hryvnia per night. But if a hostel is not your style, you can also get a futuristic capsule hotel for around 500 hryvnia per night, which was the coolest accommodation that I've ever stayed in. Something to consider is that Kiev is the capital city after all. So although the prices are really cheap everywhere here, just remember that they can be inflated very slightly, just compared to some of the, the outer cities, which I'm sure are even cheaper. So I hope that puts things into perspective a little. Overall, the total cost per day, including accommodation, food, attractions and transport, should be anywhere in the range of 800 to 1200 hryvnia. This country really is one of a kind, I enjoyed every moment I spent here, but the cheap prices, the friendly locals and the amazing food is just the icing on the cake. Ukraine as a whole is extremely affordable, but how much it costs really depends on you. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell if you would like to be notified of more of my upcoming videos and adventures. It would also mean the world to me if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment down below of what you thought of this amazing place. I shall see you all in the next video.